All right, what is going on guys? It is Benny. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday and to have a little bit of fun for Friday I thought we'd play a funky deck and so that is going to be mortar with goblin trail and you know that is it is just absolutely crazy I was very worried that that battle ram was gonna, gonna get on my tower there, but it does not now this deck honestly once you have both your evos it just goes crazy it is so insane and so i would definitely recommend playing it it's a ton of fun to play we also have skeleton king in this deck unfortunately my skeleton king is level 14 which is kind of lame but you know i don't want to give supercell any more money than i have to they're already robbing me blind man so hopefully that pekka doesn't get a hit oh my goodness phoenix you just sold me so hard that is crazy let's go for another drill at least you know what um whatever man hey what like what whatever hopefully that'd be awesome if the phoenix can get up uh let's see Ooh, oh my goodness it came up okay that's awesome it'll at least get some good damage on the prince and it is on the tower so you know the phoenix sold us at the very start of the video but then it is helping us out towards the end of this uh match up already so that is nice now i'm gonna go ahead and play my skeleton king here the one thing about this deck is you know the three card cycle is so important especially as you get to double elixir so definitely start that skeleton king in the back and there's a couple different ways you can play it. you can play it on the left side and opposite lane i sh probably shouldn't risk showing you guys that with my mortar i should probably use a different card to show you that um but you can play it opposite lane or you can play it in the same lane you know you can kind of mess around with that uh if you want to and change it up let's just get the demolisher here to counter because the phoenix demonstrated last time that it's not going to counter that and then we can go ahead and play the mortar here he's gonna kite with the goblin gang so you know we can we can take care of that pretty easily i think the mortar oh we almost could have got a little bit of splash damage from the mortar let's get the guards down boom and that is going to get some nice tower damage that's one of the things i love to do guys is to kind of wait last second to defend your mortar to bait them and then you know they're not expecting you to just let it go and you can sometimes get some nice damage out of that Let's start the skeleton king on this side i don't know why he battle rammed right into my mortar that was a little silly that was a little crazy and then um i'm gonna cycle a drill here just because i want to get to my evo drill because the evo drill is crazy and you know he's gonna go big on this push i think and then once we have the evo drill we can really do quite a bit and then our bomber as well is going to be the mvp there taking that goblin gang out i'm not gonna pop my skeleton king ability you don't really want to pop it unless there's a really really good reason to it you know um other, if, if you don't have to, then there's really no point in popping it. The Phoenix is going off again. Let's play an Evo Drill here so that he can't commit a lot of Elixir to this lane right now. And then we can go ahead and play the Mortar again. And as the Drill moves around, it's going to pull his counters behind the tower. And that lets us get a Mortar Lock a lot of the time. You'll see here, I'm going to get a Mortar Lock because that Bandit went behind along with the Goblin Gang. And then I'm going to let the Mortar go down here. Let's go ahead and play the arrows here as well. That battle ram will get on my tower, I think, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. And that's going to be good game. Holy crap, he had, he had everything going there. Let's give him a good luck and let's go on into the next one. All right, you guys, next matchup. I really would quickly wanted to thank you guys for all of your support and kind comments on the mortar bait guide that I posted. That was a ton of fun to work on and you guys honestly just made that very, very, very rewarding. And I really appreciate that. And I'm also curious, would you guys rather have a uh you know guide for mortar graveyard or for classic mortar next i'm going to try to post at least one more in the next two weeks for that and i also am working on the matchup guide right now so you know we are getting that underway as well for you guys so trying to get you guys as much as you can to succeed for sure that was probably a bad drill that i played there i should probably be a little bit more careful uh but that's okay i'm gonna just play my skeleton king here i feel like it's my best counter to both tank and help take that bandit out and you know if it goes down it goes down it's not a big deal and then we can we can figure things out from there now because he has ram rider that is a very scary deck and it's going to be interesting defending ram rider for sure i think let's go ahead i'm gonna play the phoenix right away just to start getting that pekka down and i don't think he has a really great way to take it out so um let's go ahead and play the guards here just to just to help out stop that pekka from getting on the tower and then we won't play anything else you know you don't want to go too aggressive with this deck for sure so the phoenix will help take out those zappies as long as with the guards and we don't have to worry too much but yeah let me know guys if you would rather have the mortar graveyard guide next or the classic mortar guide next and you know i will I will post one of those hopefully within the next two weeks as well as the full mortar bay matchup guide which is going to be about i'd say like 40 minutes to an hour i'm trying to get as much in there as i can to help you guys really succeed i really hope this doesn't get on the tower oh crap okay it does let's go for a drill here we got to get that counter push going now and then we can use arrows to get rid of those goblins so that we can get some damage so boom get rid of those and we will get the drill on the tower and then let's cycle a phoenix we might as well i feel like that's a good play here and then 
Hmm, let's go for the evil mortar. He's gonna pack it in the back, which was definitely a mistake. And then I'm going to get my Skeleton King in front here just to just to tank. And then let's go for the drill behind. I know that's a little crazy. That's a little crazy placement, but I didn't want to play it with the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, but I did want to get it down for sure. And that drill with the evil mortar, oh my goodness, that evil combination is going crazy. Oh my goodness, that is so strong. That is crazy. It's still going. It has the P.E.K.K.A. freaking distracted. That's so crazy. Oh my goodness, that is so strong. That is one of my favorite Evo combinations right now for sure. And then we are going to get the win. Let's give him a good game. Let's give him a good luck. And let's go on into the next match. Alright you guys, next matchup. And we're up against E-Giant, which is kind of crazy. I have not played against E-Giant with this deck yet. How do we, do we want to, I'm going to make that E-Giant walk. I was going to go for the defensive mortar, but I'm, I'm actually just going to make him walk. And then I'll use my arrows to get rid of that firecracker. Because she is so annoying and that will be a solid defense we don't have to worry too much about that we're not going to get any damage off of our uh, demolisher unfortunately but that's okay you know sometimes you just have to make do now in this video i feel like so far i haven't really utilized my skeleton king and you know there probably is better ways that i should be utilizing it that's that's just me sucking with skeleton king i have to admit it but um you know a couple different ways you can play your skeleton what the heck what the heck is going on okay let's defensive drill here because that'll at least pull the e-giant and then um, you know, the bomber plus the cannoneer should be fine to take it out. The firecracker is going to lock onto the skeleton king. I'm going to mortar on this side while I have the skeleton king going opposite lane. And then let's kind of wait and see. Um, let's pop the ability just to be annoying. And then we have the mortar going there. Oh, he had to, he had to use his lightning. Boom. Just as I said, we weren't utilizing the skeleton king ability. We are going to get some nice damage with it. And we have the demolisher going in as well. Let's get the bomber behind him because the dagger duchess is out of ammo. So we just got to press our advantage here. Um, okay. The bomber did not do anything. I'm going to go for an evo drill as well because he used his goblins. And, you know, we might as well. The evo drill is just so crazy that... Like, he's going to have to spend so much elixir to defend it if he wants to take no damage. He's going to play the Tesla, which is, I guess, not a bad defense, but we're going to get some great damage. Oh my goodness. Evo Drill is crazy, man. The amount of damage I just got for literally playing one, like, four elixir card and just letting it go. I didn't even play anything to back it up. That is just so stupid. He's going to eat giant in the back, so I'm going to Evo Mortar at the bridge here just to be aggressive and not let him build up a push. He's going to Evo Firecracker, which was a bad play, I think. Oh, crap. Okay, never mind. The, uh, the Goblin did not take it out, so that was actually a good play, I guess. Let's go for another drill here, and then we can just wait a second as we voice crack there. I don't know why I'm voice cracking so much lately. I'm like 24 years old, so I don't know why we're, you know, we're voice cracking like a child anymore, but that's okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and let's play a Demolisher here, and then let's play another Bomber. I think we can just take that tower down with drills, honestly. Uh, we should be able to chip it down with drills and win the chip damage game for sure, I think. Let's go ahead. Let's Skeleton King just to get that three-card cycle. I'm going to play this. And then let's try to pull it so that we can get a shot on tower. That Tesla was actually a pretty good play. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my arrows right here. Oh my goodness, I was worried the Firecracker went out of range there. And then let's go ahead and play the Bomber just to take all of that out. We are going to have to play the Guards to be safe. And that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. And then I'm going to go ahead and evil mortar here because we want to press the advantage and we do have an evil drill. So we should be able to get the damage we need. Let's just go for the evil drill, man. I'm playing risky here. Let's play the bomber to help take out the uh, E-Giant. And then let's play the arrows on the tower right here just in case he plays the goblins, which he does. And then we can go ahead and play the guards here to help out with the E-Giant as well. And we got some really good damage, but so did he. Um, okay, we better make sure we don't choke this, man. All right, I'm going to ignore that firecracker. And then he's going to go for the lightning. Let's go ahead and Phoenix here. And then let's play the drill to the side just to change things up. And then let's go for the mortar right here. He's going to go for the Evo Tesla right there on the drill, which is so unfortunate. Um, let's go ahead and play a Demolisher at the bridge. And then how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Let's go ahead and split some guards here. Oh, the mortar did get the splash damage on the tower. So we can go ahead and play the arrows. We almost choked that. That could have been crazy. Let's give him a good game. All right, you guys. Next matchup. This guy has Cannoneer. So, you know, it could be, it could be a couple different decks. But if I had to guess, it might be Goblin Drill or Hog Rider. When I see the Valkyrie, I think to myself, this might be Hog XE NATO. Um, but we'll see. We'll play the Demolisher here. It's weird that he's going to give us a mortar shot, though. Um... I feel like if it was a hog player, he would not be giving us that damage. So, okay, he's going to play the defensive miner. Oh, is this balloon? Hmm. Okay. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what this is. Uh, let's go ahead and cycle a drill on the tower, I guess. We might as well. This could be balloon if he has executioner, miner, 
So he's definitely, and he's got Valk. He's definitely got a Tornado. It looked like it's like the Hog Exynado deck, but it's definitely not Hog. I'd be very surprised to see a Hog Rider come out. Um, let's go ahead and play the Phoenix up high here on that execution, and just so that he can't go for like a sneaky Tornado. And then let's go ahead and play the Mortar here to defend. Or not to defend, sorry, but to go out on the offense here, try to get some damage. We do have the Skeleton King don't, going down as well. Then we can go ahead and play the Demolisher here. I think the Executioner is on the Skeleton King, which is good. Um, so that is good. The one thing about this matchup is our Skeleton King ability will probably come in pretty handy. Um, oh, the Demolisher took all of that out, and it's going to get on the tower. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Let's go for a drill here. I want to cycle to my Evo Drill, because Evo Drill should be pretty difficult for him to deal with. He is going to play the Evil Valk, which is unfortunate, so that's going to full counter the drill. But at least we kind of baited out the Evil Valk. We can play our Phoenix here to defend. And honestly, guys, if you're wondering what the like most important part of this deck is, it's going to be your Phoenix. That is crazy. We just got baited so hard. Um, okay, we're going to definitely take some damage. I'm just hoping he doesn't have Freeze, man. And then... Um, Hmm. I'm just gonna I'm gonna play my arrows here, honestly. We just we have to. We're gonna take one hit. Hopefully not two. Okay, good. And we do have our Evo Drill at least, which is good. So, you know, we can rock with that. I think I'm going to start a skeleton king in the back. Actually, no, we'll go for the demolisher. And then let's go for this. And then let's go ahead and play the Phoenix here. And that should help out. And then we can go ahead and play the bomber to help out with the miner. Don't let that get on the tower. Thank you very much. And we did get some really good damage on that right side. And uh, honestly, we, two arrows should give us the win. So um, let's go ahead and just cycle our arrows right now. We do have a Phoenix down on the right side, which is good. Let's go ahead and get a Demolisher here as well. And then we just have to wait for that push to come out and then we can play the arrows. Let's go ahead and drill right here to pull that balloon. And then I'm going to go ahead and play the Phoenix and then we can pull it with the Mortar as well. I guess I haven't really been using my drill to pull too much. Let's go ahead and play the uh, Mortar now, and then we can go ahead and play the arrows on the tower, and that's going to be a win. So let's give him a good game. All right, you guys, last matchup of the video. Let's end off with a nice win here. We're going to Skeleton King in the back. I feel like that's a pretty safe play, you know, for our first play. This guy has Bomber, and he's running Evo Bomber, which is a scary sign. I think this is going to be E-Giant. Anytime I see uh, Cannon, I'm thinking to myself, that's got to be E-Giant. Let's go ahead and play the drill here. Uh, the Cannon will shoot it, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Um... He's going to go for an E-Giant. That's interesting. Interesting way to defend the drill, to be honest. We do get some good damage, but this push that he's going to give us here is going to be crazy. Now, I think he's going to rely on Lightning quite a bit. So uh, let's go ahead and make that E-Giant walk so that we don't put it in a Lightning zone. That way he can't Lightning both the Tower, the Demolisher, and the Mortar to pull it. And we'll be okay. And then we can play our Phoenix for the Bowler. I feel like Phoenix is going to come in clutch in this matchup. Um... The reason why I'm playing the Phoenix is just because I don't want that bowler to cross the tower. It's kind of annoying to deal with with my deck specifically, and it's very hard to make great elixir trades when the bowler with this deck. So, you know, that was something I wanted to make sure that I could really defend there. Let's go ahead and start the Skeleton King in the back again, get that three card cycle going, and we won't have to defend that Phoenix at all. He's going to go for the cannon. He played it a little bit early. In my opinion, you want to be careful how you time playing your buildings, because as you can see, the cannon is going to lose so much HP already. And then let's go for another drill, and depending on what he plays, I might use my arrows to take out that bomber. I don't want to be too aggressive. I think I'm going to use them uh, just so that we can get some you know, value out of that drill. And then... Um, Hmm. Uh, I think I'll demolish her again, and then we can pull that E-Giant using our Mortar again. He's going to go for the Phoenix, so that's good. We can go ahead and do this. And then the... Oh, the Cannoneer is shooting the Phoenix, which is actually good for us. Um, we can go ahead and play our Phoenix to take out the Egg, and then the Phoenix should help out with the E-Giant as well. And we're getting some good Mortar shots on that left side, which is nice. He hasn't even touched our tower yet. That's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and play the Evo Drill here. Um... Bowler is going to stop that, so we do have to be kind of careful. I'm honestly tempted to start my Skeleton King op opposite lane here. And with the Drill going down as well, that should kind of help charge him up a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's start the Demolisher here. And then we can start the bo Bomber in the back as well. He's going to play the Evil Knight there. Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to have to use our arrows to defend. And then let's play the Evil Mortar to pull all of this. And then he's going to go for a pretty good Tornado there, but it's not going to be enough. And we should melt that entire push, which is nice. We're just watching out for that lightning. That is all I am afraid of. And then why don't we go ahead and play another Demolisher here just to really stack things up and get some value out of this push and, you know, really punish him. Let's go ahead and get another Phoenix here as well. Let's push the advantage. 
um, a little bit. And then he's going to go for the E-Giant, so let's go ahead and put the Mortar. And we're playing it this time so that it shoots on the right side just because that tower is so low. Demolisher is going in and is going to get some nice damage. We can go ahead and cycle another Drill, which should be um, at least a tiny bit of damage, I'm hoping. We might start changing up where we play that Drill, to be 100% honest. And then... Hmm, I'm going to start the Demolisher in the back here. I was going to go for a Skeleton King opposite lane, but I'm, I'm not feeling that. Let's go ahead and play the Mortar here because we can use the Drill to pull. I'm just worried about that Tornado that he's going to play here to get that Bowler on the tower, which he just did. Let's go ahead and play some Guards here to help get this all down. And then let's play the Evo Drill, and that should kind of help out with some more damage. And then he's going to go for the Bowler, which will stop the Evo Drill again. Um, oh, we're getting some damage out of it actually, which is good. We have to be careful of that lightning though. I know that lightning is coming. Let's go ahead and do this. And then why don't we do this? And then let's do this. Boom. And then, um, okay, let's play the bomber here. That phoenix came up, which is too bad. Let's go ahead and play the drill here to pull all of that. And then let's get another demolisher down. Ooh, this is looking scary. That bowler is on the tower. Let's go ahead and use our arrows and then shoot okay how are we gonna how are we gonna come out with this let's start the skeleton king opposite lane here because he's gonna go for that lightning and then i'm going to get my phoenix down here this is where it definitely benefits him let's change up the drill placement and then let's go ahead and play the mortar we're playing it just a little bit further so that you know we don't have to worry too much and then we're gonna go ahead and play the demolisher here and then why don't we go for another evil drill boom and then let's get some guards down here we're gonna have to play our arrows on this get rid of all of that boom and then let's get another demolisher going in here he's gonna go for the lightning which was a little bit a little bit aggressive but probably the right play for him let's go ahead and get another drill here this is gonna be so close let's get the arrows on the tower and then we just need some good drill damage man holy crap because if he lightnings uh oh we get the we get the drill damage. oh my goodness what a game for our last matchup thank you so much for watching guys that was a close one i cannot wait to see you guys in the next one i hope you have an amazing weekend peace out